Good morning children. Today we shall learn about the perimeter of a circle. Now we know many ways to draw a circle. And how did the two children draw the circle on the ground? As we saw, one child was standing holding one end of the rope and the second child was moving around the first child holding another end of the rope with a charcoal piece attached to the end. So, how was the second child moving? The second child was moving in a circular path and he drew a circle on the ground. Say, the length of the rope was 14 cm. So, we can say the diameter of the circle drawn would be twice of that, that is 14 multiplied by 2 which is 28 centimeter. Now, what would be the length of the boundary or the perimeter of the circle drawn? For this, the children laid a rope along the boundary of the circle and measured the length of the rope used. So, they measured the length of the rope which was same as the length of the boundary of the circle or we can say the perimeter of the circle. It was almost 88 centimeters. You know the perimeter of the circle is also known as the circumference of the circle. So we can say the circumference of the circle was almost 88 centimeters. Next, the two children made a bigger circle with the rope of the length 28 centimeter. So, the diameter of the circle would be 2 times 28 which is 56 centimeters. Then, they measured the boundary of the circle same way using another rope. They found that the length of the rope used to measure the circumference of the circle was nearly 176 centimeters. Now, another team made an even bigger circle using 42 cm long rope and this was the radius of the circle. So, the diameter of the circle would be 84 cm that is twice of 42. And when they measured the perimeter of the circle that is the circumference of the circle, it came about 264 centimeters. What do we see? As the diameter got bigger, the circumference got bigger too. But you know there is a certain relation between the circumference and the diameter and that remains same always. Let's find that relation. In the first case, the circumference was 88 cm and the diameter was 28 cm. Let's find the ratio of 88 and 28. 88 and 28 are divisible by 4. 4 7s are 28. 4 22s are 88. So we get 22 by 7. In the second case, the circumference was about 176 centimeter and the diameter was 56 centimeter. Now let's find the ratio of 176 and 56. 176 and 56 are divisible by 4, so we get 44 by 14. Now we can reduce this ratio further as both 44 and 14 are divisible by 2. So we get 22 by 7. Again, it's the same number. So we see, even though the diameter and circumference change, their ratio remained same, which is 22 by 7. Let's verify with the third observation if the ratio always remains 22 by 7 or not. In the third case, the children were using 42 cm rope, so the diameter was 84. And they measured the circumference as 264 cm using another rope. So the ratio of the circumference and the diameter here was 264 by 84. Let's reduce it 
dividing the numerator and the denominator by 4. We get 66 by 21. Now let's reduce further as both 66 and 21 are divisible by 3. Divide by 3, we get 22 by 7 again. So we see roughly the circumference is 3 times the diameter. So the ratio of circumference and the diameter of circle is always 22 by 7. This ratio is same for all the circles. Now the ratio of circumference and the diameter is 22 by 7. This 22 by 7 ratio is very important. In math, this ratio is represented by Greek letter pi. So, the circumference of a circle is 22 by 7 multiplied by its diameter. So, the circumference of circle is equal to pi multiplied by d where d is the diameter. If you calculate the value of pi that is 22 by 7, we get almost 3.14285. You know it's a non-terminating, non-recurring decimal number. In short, we can write it as 3.14. So remember children, the ratio of circumference and the diameter of the circle is always a constant pi whose value is 22 by 7 and this ratio is same for all the circles. If we know the radius or the diameter of the circle, we can find the circumference of the circle. The circumference of the circle is pi multiplied by the diameter of the circle. So, if we know the radius, then the diameter is equal to twice the radius and hence we can write 2r instead of diameter and thus the circumference then would be 2 pi r. Always remember the value of pi is 22 by 7 or 3.14 approximately. That's all for now. Bye bye children.